The Walled Garden, just one of the places you absolutely have to visit at one of the seven wonders of Illinois. We're talking about the Allerton Park and Retreat Center just outside Monticello. It's this week's stop in Motoring with Matt. And joining us is Matt Smith, who's kind of the marketing and coordinate, coordinator here yep. at Allerton Park and Retreat Center. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Yeah, this is a really amazing place. Let's talk a little bit about the history, and we got to walk around because there's absolutely. so much to see. So right now, uh, as you would mentioned, we're in the Brick Walled Garden, and this is actually the oldest of the formal gardens that we have here at Allerton. Originally, it was the vegetable garden, and you can tell that by a lot of the statues that will sit in some of the entrances mm -hmm. here in the Brick Walled Garden, symbolizing that this was, in fact, the vegetable garden. Uh, one of the neat things about Allerton, just in general, and you'll notice this is a common theme as you look around, is the symmetry. Um, everything is very symmetrical. Even when Allerton was here, where we have these hedges, those were all originally carrots. So he outlined the gardens and carrots, and then you had some more of the, um, the fruits and vegetables inside of each garden. So was he a naturalist? Uh, yeah, he was, but also a huge lover of art. And that's the, really the theme that you see over and over again here, mm -hmm. is that um, when Allerton was, oh, we'll call it 24-ish, uh, he was formally trained as an artist, but realized that he was just not very good at it. He came back to the United States, went to his dad, Sam Allerton, who lived up in Chicago at the time. And his dad asked him, okay, well, what do you want to do? He said, I want to be a farmer. And this is where that appreciation for art comes in, because mm. as you'll see with the, the mansion, that was his formal, uh, that was his farmhouse. Yeah. And then everything else just kind of progresses from there. Yeah. So you get these great statues throughout the, uh, throughout the property. And again, it was that love of art. While he wasn't that good at it, he sure did love it. Well, and you guys are continuing that tradition. I mean, you've made these flowers art. Yeah, this is a neat spot right here because originally there was a fountain here and, and the, the well itself is still underneath of um, the lady with the scarf, which is one of the uh, newest, I guess, of, of the statues that we have out here. Um, you can kind of notice sort of the, the texture of it. At the time, it was a, a very new kind of style. Um, and now it's on display and, and has been for some time. In the winter, we keep them covered, of course, just to prevent a lot of the cracking, but that's just kind of uh, some of the general housekeeping that we have here at, uh, at, at the retreat center and in the gardens. Yeah, and this is actually a really great place, as you can hear kind of the kids in the background. It's a great place to bring family, lots of fresh outdoors, and there's a great piece here. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's fun because it's just, if, if you're here and you've lived in central Illinois your whole life, a lot of all you know is corn cornfields out mm -hmm. in the middle of nowhere. But here at Allerton, we have about 1,500 acres of just pristine natural land and even a little bit, a little bit of topography. So um, we've got some, some hiking trails, about 15 miles of them, that will lead you up and down through the lowlands and the uplands and the bottoms of uh, the Sangamon River. Mm, and so you've got the trails, you've got the great flower gardens here. Mm -hmm. um, you have the Chinese garden as well. Yeah, we have... Uh, on, on one end, we have the food dog garden, and then on the other end, you have the sunken garden. And um, this is what we refer to as the north side of the park. The south side of the park is equally as beautiful, but in a little bit of a different way. It's more natural. We have a lot of restorative prairies going on. Um, but really, there's something for everyone. So if you're a nature lover, if you're an art lover, all of those types of things are here. And, and one of the neat things is that it's free. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're a short 20, 30 minute drive from Champaign. From so Decatur, people, from, from a lot of central mm -hmm. Illinois. Yeah, absolutely. We're very centrally located and just off 72 as well. Yeah, very convenient. And then lastly, I want to talk real quick about the mansion itself. Yes. Now, and that's on the National Register of Historic Places. It is. The mansion, the whole estate was deeded about 1946 to the University of Illinois. Um, to re rewind a little bit, they finished, Robert Allerton finished the mansion, let's call it about 1900, but was still very much a, a work in progress. We now have converted to a conference center. We have 16 overnight guest rooms within the retreat center, 39 on the property, and uh, we have just a variety of different uses where people will, weddings especially on Saturdays, but during those weekdays, we have a lot of conferences from groups out of Chicago or, or with the university. Um, really, it's open to the public if they want to utilize the facility. If someone hasn't been to Allerton before, what do you recommend they see? Uh, you know, <laughs> probably the formal gardens. If you're going to come out and you have, let's say, an hour, that's about, give or take, what you would need. You could come, park, and then just kind of tour from the food dogs down here through the brick walled garden and just kind of continue down this path past Adam. And, and that's where the bulk of the, um, the formal gardens. 
Then what I usually suggest is people hop in their car, take the very short drive, a little bit over a mile, down Old Timber Road, staying here within Allerton, and you'll find one of our most iconic structures, and that's the Sun Singer. I want to bring in Derek Peterson now to talk a little bit more about that concert series. Sure. You're kind of the coordinator for this, yeah. and, and that's a lot of people coming to these. Yeah, there, there's a, a been a great turnout so far. Yeah, yeah we're, so we're happy with it. What do you have for the rest of the summer? So August 2nd, which is this coming Friday, from 6 to 9, we have the Hen House Prowlers, which is a bluegrass band out of uh, Chicago. And there's the uh, Frank F. Sidney's uh, Western Bandit Volunteer is going to be opening up for them. And they'll they'll play from 6 to 9. It should be a really nice show. Are, is there a requirement for uh, for a ticket fee or anything mm -hmm. like no, that? No, all, all the concerts are free. We do ask for a donation at, okay. the, uh, at the gate. But then after that, we go into September, and we have September Swing. Uh, and we have the U of I uh, Concert Jazz Band coming out to play. Uh, and they're directed by, the Chip Mc, by Chip McNeil. And that should be a really nice show as well. We have the uh, U the Illini Swing Society. They're going to be out here teaching people how to swing dance. So that'll be a lot of fun. That will be fun. Yeah, yeah. I've seen them in a couple different events. So to yeah. have them out yeah. here, that's pretty neat yeah. too. Yeah, it's fun. So okay, so when you're choosing who comes, I mean, you've got a pretty w diverse uh, set of music yeah. music offered. Yeah. So uh, when I when I went in to uh, choose all the bands, I did it early this spring, and so it was a. Uh, it was it was intense to say the least. Sure, we had a lot of different local talent. Uh, I was able to work with Kevin Kelly from uh, WIL Live and Local. Uh, he gave me the name of a lot of the bands that I used. He didn't have some of them, so I had to do some some legwork and uh, had to go around and listen to some of them and and some of the local uh, the local places in Champaign <laughs> Urbana that they play. Sure, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, well, yeah, uh, one of the perks of your job. Yeah, I'm right. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. And so the series actually continues then into October. Oh yeah, so then in October we have the second annual Allerton Oktoberfest where we're going to be, um, we have a polka band come out of Peoria. And they played here last year, they're great, they're, they're a three-piece band. Uh, they uh, they have a German name which I can't pronounce, but it, it translates into three fat Germans. So yeah. so they're real great, <laughs> real real good guys. So yeah, well, and so you're gonna offer all kinds of stuff. I mean, and uh -huh. there's and it's just a donation for all. Right, kids, right, right. Yep. So free. We don't twist anybody's arm, but but we we ask for donations to help cover the cost for next year. All right. So yeah. Yeah, this is great, Derek Peterson. Yeah. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Matt. You yeah. and Matt Smith making yeah. it all happen <laughs> out here at Allerton Park and Retreat Center, part of Motoring with Matt sure. this week. And if you want to check out more information about the Allerton. Park and Retreat Center, you can go to our website at ciliving.tv.